So hello fellow Earthlings, this is Earthling 6455463728 and I want to say that I'm not as late as much as I used to be in the past. Um, one of the things about, well I'm from unfortunately a late family, like my, my um, nuclear family is, is late. Like my mom, she tends to be late a lot, and I grew up with that, so I would be, you know, maybe I took on some of that, like when I was in uh, school, uh, elementary school, let's say. Yeah, so, I mean, we, I have some really horrible late experiences. Um, where I was just so, so late as to be really, really embarrassed. Um, but how not to be late? Let me get right into it. The ways that I've found to avoid being late is that, and I have a reminder to myself, I have a calendar reminder, basically, that it, take t it takes me two hours. I should always allot about two hours, one to get ready and one to leave the house and start uh, getting to wherever I need to be. And my reminder to myself is um, the second hour is for traveling. Now, I am not as late as I used to be. Uh, as a matter of fact, a lot of times now I'm probably on time. Um, so that's good. I, I would like to be a lot better. I don't mind being too early because uh, that can give me an opportunity to do just, you know, walk around and see the sights and smell the flowers like they say. But uh, I think that one of the big problems when you're late is that, let's say even when I've decided that that I'm going to uh, give myself an hour to get ready. The problem is stopping doing whatever I was doing. You know, I always have this thing in my mind that, oh, you know, I don't need an actual hour to get ready. That's too much. That always, always, always happens. That's why I have that reminder that the second hour is not for, you know, uh, what I would do sometimes is that, okay, it's two hours, all right, um, as soon as the first hour is supposed to begin, I'd be like, okay, well, I don't need a whole hour, maybe 50 minutes, um, and then it would be half an hour. I'd be like, well, okay, um, half an hour, how long is it going to take me to just pull on a, a shirt and a pants and a shoes, and the next thing I know, it's an hour before the thing, and I'm not ready to leave the house yet. So then I have to take a shower and do all these other things that, you know, um, I should, could have been able to do really um, without being too frazzled, you know. And But every time what normally happens is I just discount the amount of time that I would need to do certain things. I keep, and, and that's where my optimism is, you know, I'm thinking yeah, you know, it, it's not going to take that long. But the fact is that there's a lot more, there's a lot more traffic than there used to be. Definitely. You know, even on a Sunday, there's a lot of traffic. So there's never a time that it's going to take me, uh, you know, the amount of time that it takes to get from without traffic, you know. It's always, I always have to account for traffic. And I always, in my brain, I'm never seeing that traffic until I get out there onto the road and I see, whoop, there's traffic. Or if I have to take, you know, public transportation or something, um, it takes a while to for it to come. And it might be a slow um, bus or something. You know, it might stop at every stop. Maybe people are getting on and getting off all the time. So there's that. 
and then there's traffic some other place where or some place you know as the bus or the taxi is going wherever it is then there's traffic and in the traffic you know at the time I'm telling myself dude how can you always keep forgetting about traffic but without fail every single time I really don't want to stop doing what I'm doing and uh, that's that's really what it is it's a mixture of optimism and the fact that I don't want to stop doing what I'm doing in addition to the fact that a lot of times when I'm doing you know getting ready I see things that need to be done and a lot of times I might start doing that thing that probably should not be done at that time maybe I should find another time to do it but here it is that I, I see that I need to take out the garbage or I need to wipe a certain thing or move something from the position that it's in to another place or arrange something or you know. so it really can be a task to to I think you know I should use some of the other tools that I have maybe mentioned before such as you know I just tell myself I'm just gonna take one minute from whatever it is that I'm doing just to do one thing to get ready and then I'll come right back once I can reassure myself that I'm really I really don't have to stop doing what I am doing then it's a lot easier to stop because I don't think that I'm actually going to stop but you know my that's really my intention my intention is to fool myself into thinking that I'm not going to stop and then once I feel myself having stopped I won't feel the pull of needing to continue to do whatever it was that I was doing so yeah I think that's something that I, I probably need to, to add to myself unfortunately in order to avoid being late as well I've had to take other steps so for example um, if if at all possible I try not to go anywhere with my mother at the same time like in the same car or you know because I'm I'm gonna have to be pushing like a two-ton truck every single step of the way because she's gonna be just like how I used to be but without any of a real burning desire most of the time to change let's say I recognize that hey I need to be somewhere at 3 that means I need to start preparing at 1 o'clock if I tell my mother that she won't she will wait until it's an hour before the time that we're supposed to be there and then she'll start to prepare and at the time that we're supposed to be there then she'll be ready to leave the house to get into traffic to go so I, I just do not travel anywhere if I have to go somewhere I would just meet her at that particular place or unfortunately if I'm traveling somewhere with her like going out to the country or something or to another city or something um, then what I'm gonna have to do is start pushing a two-ton truck myself so at every single step I'm gonna have to be like okay we need to be doing this we need to be doing that come on whatever you're doing you need to stop it just like that all the time so um, yeah it can be difficult but a lot of times it works um, when we went to France and Italy and these places it um, we managed to to avoid missing any flights and stuff like that so that was good um, maybe we might not have gotten out of the house at the right time um, on some days so maybe we didn't get to do every single activity that we wanted but we didn't miss any of the scheduled things that we had to do like we had a particular ticket for a particular time to go up the Eiffel Tower for example and we were on time with that it's just that you know the moment that I slip and I'm not going behind my sister and my mom and making sure that uh, they are on time then we're not going to be on time 
so it's not too bad I presume it, because it's not too often that's really what it is um, but really that's what it amounts to in order to to make that change you have to be aware of exactly what it is that you need to do like I do more than likely need about an hour or two so that I don't feel rushed and that I don't forget things at home like keys or wallets or something like that um, and that's that's the kind of thing that can happen when I'm in a rush you know I might forget deodorant or some kind of crazy thing like that so it's always better to be to be relaxed when you are getting ready and uh, to be relaxed while you're traveling you're not looking at the time when you're in a bus or a cab or in a car and counting down the minutes to when you're supposed to be at a particular place of course there's still no accounting for traffic so sometimes you still a lot of certain amount of time and the next thing you know you're caught up in worse traffic than you thought and usually what happens now is I don't have that full hour traveling you know I, I have maybe 40 minutes or something that it usually ends up being because I have not perfected this yet but uh, I am aiming, aiming well I haven't perfected it all the time you know, sometimes there's no traffic, so I don't need a real, a full hour. Sometimes it's reasonably close. Uh, sometimes, um, well, I don't want to account for when the other person's running late because it doesn't, it, that isn't my problem. It shouldn't be my problem. I should be on time and whatever I have to do to amuse myself while they are coming or uh, taking their time, that's, that's me and that's on them. I really want to be someone who is not late. That, at the very least, it's not my fault. So anyway, guys, wish me luck. You can like or unlike. You can comment and say why you did that. You can subscribe and or share. Peace.